Hi, I'm Steve at the Carmichael Workshop. Today I'm going to attempt to use my X-Car CNC machine to make a jewelry box that doesn't look like it was made with a CNC. About seven or eight years ago when I started putting videos on YouTube, I made a project video where I made this jewelry box for my daughter. And it's basically a bandsaw box that's made by gluing up eight boards into a solid block and then everything's cut out over on the bandsaw. Well, we really love this whimsical design and I put the cutting template over on my website for a free download. And over the years, lots of people have downloaded that template, made the box, and sent me pictures of theirs, which is really cool. Uh, but one thing I noticed about this box is that the drawers are really deep and all the jewelry seems to sit at the bottom of it and it's all jumbled up. So uh, one thing I want to do with this new box is give it a more modern look and also I want the drawers to be shallow and I want it to have multiple smaller compartments so the earrings and jewelry can be separated a little bit better. So let's take a look at my design. This is the Inventables Easel software for designing projects for the X-Carve CNC machine. I'd like to thank Inventables for sponsoring this project. If you'd like to learn more about the X-Carve and try out Easel for free, I'll put a referral link to Inventables in the video description below. This project has four tabs at the bottom, so let's take a look at each one. This tab contains the original drawings and cut settings I used to design the box. The box will be made up of six boards stacked from front to back and it will have six drawers. The main box shape is made up of an oval, a rectangle, and two squares at the bottom for feet. I also added six rectangles for the drawer openings and two holes that will be used for alignment pins during glue up. For the front board, I combined the shapes and set it to cut around the outside. I set the drawer openings to cut around the inside. The alignment holes have a shallow depth so that they don't cut through the face of the box. The backboard is solid with no drawer openings and it also has shallow alignment holes. Both the front and back include the feet at the bottom. The four middle boards that will be sandwiched between the front and back piece will all be the same with drawer openings and alignment holes cut all the way through and no feet on the bottom. I designed one drawer that contains six pockets for jewelry. So with six drawers, that adds up to 36 different compartments in the jewelry box. The size and the number of drawer compartments can be customized as needed just by changing the design. If you're making this jewelry box with other tools, another option would be to drill round pockets using a Forstner bit. I'm making this box from 3 quarter inch thick maple and cherry boards that are about 7 inches wide. So I added tabs for each board that I need to cut. This tab is used to cut the front and two of the middle boards from a 30 by 7 inch piece of maple. I just copied and pasted my designs for those and rotated them to fit on the board. The design includes tabs that are perpendicular to the grain, so none of the pieces will come loose during the cutting process. I put the best looking part of the board to the left and face down, since that's the side that will show on the front of the box. This tab is used to cut the back and the other two metal boards from a 30 by 7 inch piece of cherry. Again, I put the best looking part of the board to the left and face down since that will show on the back of the box.
This tab is for cutting the drawers. I'm cutting three drawers at a time from smaller boards, so I'm going to run this job twice to make six drawers. The drawers are oriented so the edge grain will show on the front of the box and the end grain will be on the shorter sides. Alright, the X-Carve cut out all the parts for me with no issues and it took about four hours of machine time using the default settings, which is kind of conservative. Uh, so now I just need to sand everything and glue it together. For sanding, I'm just using my random orbit sander, a small sanding sponge, and I like these little sanding sticks for the detailed tight areas. And when I glue it together, since I cut those alignment holes, I found that these bamboo skewers fit really well in those holes, so I'm going to cut a couple pieces of the skewers uh, to put in the alignment holes so that everything lines up and doesn't slide around during glue up. I've marked the center of each drawer face and I'm going to drill a shallow quarter inch hole to receive the drawer pulls. And an easy way to keep your workpiece at 90 degrees is to sandwich it between two other bores that you can use to reference the work surface. For drawer pulls, I'm going to cut six pieces off this quarter inch aluminum rod. They're going to be three quarters of an inch long and I'm going to put them in my drill and spin them and use sandpaper to smooth them out and give them a brushed look. I'm going to use my favorite finish on this box, which is Deft Clear Wood Finish in Satin Spray Lacquer. Well, here is the finished CNC jewelry box, and I think it turned out looking pretty awesome. You'll have to let me know in the comments below whether you think it looks like something that was made with a CNC machine or not. I actually think it looks more like a bandsaw box myself. Uh, if you'd like to open the free easel project, uh, there's a link in the video description below. And if you have a CNC machine, you can just cut one out yourself or if you want to make it with a scroll saw or other tools, you can download a zip file of the drawings uh, that you can use as templates to cut it out. Thanks again to Inventables for sponsoring this project video. They're currently taking pre-orders for the next more robust version of the x -Car that comes out in 2021, but they do still offer the current version that I have and that you saw in this video. So if you're interested in shopping for an x there there'll be a referral link in the video description below. If this is your first time seeing one of my videos, I'd like to invite you to subscribe to my channel and click that notification bell so you get notified whenever I upload a new project. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.